Right, so first up we have... What the hell is this? What the hell is... What is this top? Why are you matching it with these jeans? How does this... going to be a long ass video today so buckle up guys because really and truly I didn't expect this. This is just a complete travesty and I'm really hoping this is not what I'm seeing in the rest of your outfits because you did definitely did not dress like this in throughout the show. So I don't know what the hell that was but we're just going to pretend that really never took place. Hey guys it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already what are you doing with your lives I really don't know. Please do subscribe. If you haven't already and you are watching this video do go to the nearest mirror closest to you. Look into it and ask yourself are you a dog or a horse because we need to know. Do also follow me on my Instagram Murad underscore Morali and basically I thought I would do a review a more of a visual aesthetic kind of review of Molly May's PLT collection because there have been a lot of opinions on it but I really haven't had the time because obviously I've been traveling so much especially in the last three four weeks I haven't actually had the time to look through it all and really just review the clothes from an aesthetic kind of basis a visual basis obviously I'm not going to wear the clothes but perhaps for the near future for Ovi's collection I probably will order some of the ASOS stuff and review it for you guys if you guys want to see that do comment down below because I feel like I will do that and then I'll obviously review all the other collections from the Islanders coming out as well but Molly May is one of the best you know individuals who dress well from the show I feel like she definitely is from what we've seen post coming out of the show however I'm very keen now to see her collection to see if that can follow suit with her Instagram and how she looks and dresses and everything because I'm hoping it does. The like, pressure is on for this girl. Like really and truly, a lot of people are apparently have been bashing her collection. I'm gonna remain as unbiased as possible. If I don't like something, I'm gonna say it. If I do, I do, irrespective of whatever she's done outside of whatever I agree with or not. And we have this suit kind of match. And this is what I like. This is what suits her. This is beautiful to me. This, she looks on point. Again, at the cute little handbag. But I like this kind of color. And I do love the trousers and how she's rolled it up. It perfectly matches with the shoes. And I like the cut of her blazer for sure. The next outfit here is this leather black kind of jacket with a roll neck. Again, this is a very chic kind of New York kind of look. I can see her with some black glasses. We're strutting down the high street. I'm loving this little bag again. And the boots, the shiny kind of reflection only adds to the, you know, kind of lure of this outfit, I would say. I'm very glad that she tied her hair back because it helps to accentuate the outfit completely. I like how streamlined it is. And you know, there's a bit of confusion to me as well. Why are you wearing a roll neck and you're, you're basically not wearing anything for your legs? What is going on? Is it winter or is it summer? We need to know. That's kind of confusing to me personally. This next outfit, I don't know what, what's going on here. Are you an ostrich? Are you an ostrich? Because we really need to know. What the hell is going on here? Why are you wearing a purple top with this coat and then these really short white kind of leggings and then also with heels? This is just a mess. I'm sorry. This is this is not the Molly May that this is not uh, this is not the Molly May that I know for sure. This is okay. I wouldn't say this is amazing. Um, there's been some quite controversy with the outfits because apparently they have seen these prior to her collection just in different colors. So a lot of people are saying, did she really have any input? I don't know. And this is this is one of those examples I do believe seeing. I don't know what she's doing. My girl's really posing like. She's about to get shot out here when I don't know what's going on. But I'm loving the striped suits. I feel like she's wearing them quite a lot. And I feel like I'm already gathering a theme here where we are seeing suits, 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 which is cute for me. But what it does is it shows a lack of versatility when it comes to your outfits. And if you're giving out an entire collection, we need to see versatility. That is very key, especially when I feel like there's a lot more for women than it is for men. But at the same time, I do like this outfit. I'm not really a fan of the cut, or maybe it's just the way she's posing. And again, it's simplistic, it's cute. Here we're seeing less is more, and I, and I like it. It's cute, so far so good, apart from that one disgusting outfit. This outfit, again, it gives me, you know, old LA kind of vibes, Hollywood kind of vibes. I'm loving the roll neck kind of, you know, Lara Croft-ish kind of vibes I'm getting from this. I do like how high this the pencil skirt is. And again, the white boots. Again, she's, she really goes for the, when it comes to her boots from what I'm seeing, she's 
kind of color blocking them is with the, either the bag like here or the top and the glasses itself help to accentuate her jawline because she definitely has a jawline child there's confusion here and why is my like why would i go with why would somebody go with a full sleeve and then one sleeve is just bent i, I don't understand i feel like she's very confused here she looks confused like i don't understand we're just going to pretend it's going to whatever. Mm, I like the colour. The khaki colour really does suit her. Again, her hair looks great. And that's an issue for me because the, the volume of her hair takes away from her outfit. And I'm not really a fan of this kind of like, I don't like the pointy kind of shoulders, but I do like how drapey it is. And I don't understand why you're kind of wearing these kind of gym, really tight shorts. This is what I'm getting from you. And I feel like you should have longer trousers, maybe even drapey trousers. Go for an entire drapey loose oversized look with this and then you probably will be able to look much better with it but again i like it simply because of the roll neck which is very heavy but then again why are you wearing a heavy roll neck with a jacket on top and then with these really short tight shorts i don't understand that like, there's just no correlation here but i do like the little handbag it's a cute little satchel bag this is amazing double denim this double denim is very hard to pull off and I do like the cut. The cut of that jacket is giving me absolutely life right now. It's, and it can suit literally everybody, but I would have liked to have seen the sleeves to be a bit more shorter rather than to be full sleeve. This next outfit, I think it's, the colors are nice, which is why I think it's nice. But at the same time, I'm like, are you going out with your friends or are you going to the gym? I just, I don't understand. Because if you take that jacket off and those shoes off, you and you saw her walking down, you would just assume that she's going to the gym. And I just, I don't like the whole, I think Joanna was actually going for the similar look. I don't like this whole wearing the heels with tight kind of like gym wear-ish kind of clothes. Cause I feel like it comes very off to me. Um, the, but the only reason why I would like it is because the colors all complement each other for real. But these small handbags that she's carrying around, like can you carry around something else please? Because I don't know what's going on. Again, I do like the bottom half of the trousers, but I feel like they're a bit too high-waisted, but I feel like we haven't seen that yet, so that's cute. And I do like this top, and I like how she shows a bit of shoulder and a bit of neck. It's a bit, it's a different for us, we haven't seen this, and I do like how she's holding her hair because we don't wanna see more concentration on that, we want it on the outfit. And I'm just loving this kind of ripped jean look. And I do like this top. The, but what confuses me about this top is this like roll neck look. Like why are you wearing that? I feel like without that it would be, it would be much better. But again, I'm just loving these trousers. And yet again, she's color blocking <laughs> with the white shoes, the white handbag. She knows what she's doing, but it is getting a little bit repetitive. And back at it, back at it again with the suits. And I'm loving this look because it's very drapey. It's very oversized and it's very simple. Less is more money made. And so far, majority of the collection I think is actually okay. It's very like old school, high school kind of look in the 90s, kind of a clueless kind of vibe. That's what I get from this. I do like these, you know, this jacket but I feel like there must be more to it. Overall, I would give Molly May's collection perhaps a strong six out of 10. And the reason why I say so, I don't believe there's enough versatility with her outfits. I feel like she continuously is wearing suits just in different colors and stripes. And I'm just not a fan of these really tight shorts or the shorts that go past the knee that go with the outfits. I don't like them at all. And also there's just a, a theme, a very strong theme of confusion here because I'm seeing outfits where you're wearing such heavy roll necks and then with jackets on top and then with just really tight and high shorts and then you're wearing them with heels so i'm not really seeing where what's going on here i feel like there needs, there needs to be a seasonal pattern and i'm not really getting that from your outfits unfortunately i don't think your outfits are completely trash more so because i feel like you know how to pose well for the outfits and i also feel like your hair looks great in them and i feel like some of these outfits actually do look pretty good they're not all clapped or horrible as i thought they would be because i'm hearing that you got a lot of neg um, negative feedback but i don't think the outfits were as bad um you can i can definitely tell that you have taste but i feel like you lack thereof in some departments and i don't think it's that strong you know, for you to come out with this collection, I feel like I, w I personally expected more. And I feel like there was just, I feel like you just cut the outfit literally anywhere just to see more edgy and more new. And, and I feel like that in itself just isn't cute. I feel like you're just trying way too hard. But I do like some of the stuff that she's wearing and I do like these suits. She knows how to pull the suits off, suits off, but I feel like a little bit of suits is just, like we're seeing way too many of that. And I feel like 
I wanted to see a bit more, maybe some dresses maybe, something in that kind of lane as well. I feel like she's going for a very smartish look and you're entitled to a theme, most definitely, and you're entitled to stick to a style, you don't have to be ridiculously versatile, but I just expected more and I just feel like I wasn't getting that. Let me know what your thoughts are. Did you guys like my review? Did you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree? Did you guys like her PLT collection? Comment down below, please. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.